the lyrics in a song he wrote. These lyrics that share Doro's experiences, allegedly, insulted the Spanish monarchy, the Spanish army, and police forces. Doro's arrest led to multiple riots and protests involving the freedom of speech and expression. Pablo had been arrested many times prior for the same reasons. In a 2018 interview conducted by Maria Macaya, Pablo shared his position on the freedom of speech. He states, I will not be a hypocrite. I do not defend freedom of expression in the abstract. I stand for freedom of expression to fight for democratic rights. Artists like Pablo all over the world are oppressed. Countless, countless musicians have been sentenced to time in prison due to their work being politically controversial. Artists are reported, censored, and jailed by government officials in Europe, South America, and the United States by parents and national police forces. These opponents claim that uncensored music incites violence, exposes children to inappropriate content, and causes disorder in communities. The United Nations must develop laws to protect musicians and consumers alike from censorship because artistic expression is valuable to society, the threat of censorship stifles creativity, and censorship disproportionately affects minorities and people of color. Freedom of expression is valuable and allows citizens to speak their minds. Terrell Gorley and Joshua Molina, also known as Skengo and Am, are young drill rappers who live, perform, and produce music in London. Drill is a subgenre of hip hop music that first emerged in the early 2010s. Skengo and Am received suspended prison sentences for performing lyrics that broke the terms of their gang injunction, limiting their lyrical expression. A gang injunction is a court order targeting a specific group which prosecutors have deemed a public nuisance. In his February 2019 The Guardian article entitled, Don't Censor Drill Music, Listen to What It's Trying to Tell Us, here in the far right, criminalizing artists in this way is both unjust and ineffective. It is unjust because it denies the basic freedoms of those who are attempting to creatively, if distastefully, expose their experiences of life. Just because one's artistic expression is distasteful to some, does not mean the right to expression should be stifled for all. In a 2019 book entitled, The Use and Abuse of Music, Eleanor Peters emphasizes that, freedom of expression is an important aspect of human rights, and artistic expression is protected because of its perceived value for individual fulfillment and is a means of communicating and developing ideas. Freedom of expression helps bring awareness to cultural differences and should defy values, not be defined by them. Censorship in music stifles creativity, hindering artistic expression. <coughs> Artists feel limited by authorities because they have seen so many go to jail for expressing their own opinions on political matters. As explained in the July 2019 post Gazette Publishing Company article entitled, Censoring Music Hits the Wrong Note, the author shares that, Banning Drill made a pride Britain of its next stars. Upcoming artists see musicians penalized and punished for their work, bringing them to the conclusion that producing or performing their music may not be acceptable, erasing dreams and taking away freedom. Self-censorship is the act of refraining oneself from expressing something. In a March 2021 article entitled, Like Pablo Estel, Spain Wants Me Jailed for Rap Lyrics, Faltonic writes, the worst kind of censorship is self-censorship. In Spain, some rappers have started to censor themselves because they don't want to go to jail. People are scared to write songs that stand up to power. If Travis Scott had released Utopia due to worries about censorship, one of the most popular current albums would never have been heard. Self-censorship is the most insidious type of music because it's the most insidious type of censorship because that art never gets made. Censorship in music disproportionately affects people of color and minorities. The July 2019 Post Gazette article entitled Censoring Music Hits the Wrong Note explains that. Drill music is made almost exclusively by young black men who chart the lives of their peers and themselves. Why is the free their freedom of expression being curtailed? The Met didn't ban the Rolling Stones street fighting band in 1968, though it exhorted Londoners to emulate rioting car unions. Young black men are being jailed and treated poorly because of the way they express themselves in this less socially accepted style of music compared to white artists. In a November 2022 Wall Street Journal online article titled the history of pop music is full of violent content. Neil Shaw argues, Johnny Cash sang that he shot a man in Reno. Bob Marley and Eric Clapton both sang about shooting chairs. Yet lyrics are rarely used against musicians in non-rap genres such as country, 
whose songs whose song forms include the murder ballad, which are songs about events leading to murder. Artists of different genres have been using art to express themes of death for decades without penalty. But when rappers share experiences of the same nature, they are convicted of using insightful speech. Censorship in music must be stopped because it is a violation of human rights and is culturally significant. In a January 2018 Harvard Gazette article entitled Songs in the Key of Humanity, Peter Ruel quotes Henry Wadsworth Longfellow, who famously said, Music is the universal language of mankind. <coughs> Music is so important in any circumstance to bring the human spirit together. It provides a way to disconnect and tune in to another's experiences. Censorship takes away freedom of expression, stifles creativity, and unequally affects minorities. Artists should be able to express themselves through music without worrying that they will receive backlash or persecution. Censorship of art is censorship, whether banning Huckleberry Finn or banning the latest Artie Ansel. The United Nations must create international laws that protect artists listeners, and producers from censorship. Music's reflective quality and its habit of transporting people to a place in time proves its value in tracking and communicating the human condition. Thank you.